Hello guys, it's Mickey. Welcome to my channel. And if you just tuned to my channel, please subscribe. Turn on the notification bell so as to be notified each time there's an upload coming from me. So um, I didn't create a video last week. I'm still trying to put out um, a gift I want to give out for Christmas. I already know the gift, but it's just taking a while for me to couple it up together. All right. So um, today's Sunday, as you guys know now, Mickey Sunday routine. I try as much as possible to pull out question asked all through the week and I try to give you an honest reply. So let's begin. All right, so we've got um okay, we've got a question from Nemi Pauline. Or Nemi Pauline. Please, what can I add to my doctor James Whitening cream to make me fair? I'm dark in complexion. Um, I'm sorry, I don't recommend. I think I've said it so many times. I, I keep repeating myself over and over again on the same issue. Um, a, a question from Lifestyle TV. Thank you, you sp you've spoken the truth. I see most skincare person doing, um, trying it with coconut oil. Thank you for being honest. Um, that's the problem about that glow body oil. Trying it with coconut oil, it doesn't really make sense. Because I wonder why you say coconut oil glow the skin. Where did you get that? If you were probably a dark skinned person, it was still even dark in you, even as a dark skinned person. And um, the problem why I don't I don't really like that oil, I'm not a fan of coconut oil. I'm sorry, the weather, you know, it just rained, so the weather is... I'm not a fan of coconut oil, I, I don't like the oil. Probably because it breaks me out a lot. When you use it, there's a girl I know that uses coconut oil and her body is filled with spots. She just had to stop using it at um, so It doesn't go well with her. And there are people who use it on their skin. Kids use it on their skin and it's really, really nice. All right, so we got a question from Abbas in Kiruka. Thanks, sweetie, for sharing me. God bless you. Amen. Um, Bamu, Bami, Bamiwu, Bamu, Bamiwu. I like that name, Bamiwu. Um, your number, please, 0818541 Okay, um, a question from Idain Grace Beauty. At last, I have known what cellulite is there. No, I made a mistake, honey. It's, it's a mistake. And one um, subscriber of mine corrected me about it. No, cellulite are not the egusi. All right? It was my mistake. No, ma, everyone makes mistakes, you know? Um, people are still learning when it comes to skincare. So, not the egusi. The egusi is not the cellulite. The cellulite is um, when you have, like, uh, more like fat around your face but uh, not the exact fat it's like um shrinked it happens around the lap as well you, know, you notice some parts are more like lumpy but a bit of fat yeah okay so um we've got a question from um then grace beauty i love you too much thank you honey then grace beauty hi mickey i'm a very big fan of you I so so much, I so so very much love your glow. Please, can I use bleacher plus glue for time for time you see on my face for your glow? Ah, uh, yes, I think I said so that I used to use it on my face and it was nice. Um, Esther Oriaku, so you can use it if it actually goes well with your skin. Mickey is so Mickey is so real. Keep being you, my dear. Thank you very much. Atu Rivera, hmm, nice work. I'm letting you know. Thanks for the information on. Yes, I love you okay, too. So we have a question here from Sandy's Empire. I thought we were supposed to use a double boiler for this. Yes, that's a double boiler. All right, it's it's just different. I didn't use a pot, then another pot on top of it. I used the, 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 a, a crock pot, which is also a double boiler. It's a slow cooker. That's what they call double boiler. All right. Um, okay, we got a question from Ineka Uka. Please, my darling, I'm using fair and white so why tell me the oil to use thank you i'm sorry i can't tell you the oil to use anna oko reason be that i don't know your skin type i don't know what works for you and this is a channel for review we don't do sorry this is the oil to use we, we are not those eboti people that sell cosmetics we don't do that so those ones when you go to their shop you just say ah madam use because they want to sell madam use this oil fine good we don't do that here YouTube, this YouTube channel is strictly for reviews, all right? We review products, we answer questions here. Then sometimes I can still do some mixtures for you guys, but telling you what to use, honey, it doesn't work that way. All right, so um, Anna Oko, hi love. 
You always have new things to share. I use sunflower oil for cooking only. I never knew I can actually use it on my skin. Thanks a lot, my honest friend. You always have a new looks. Thank honey, but there's something you should know about the skin. You know, adding stuff on the skin is like you're eating food as well. Okay? When, when it comes to organic or natural products, what is edible, what you can eat, is what you actually put on your body. Imagine using brown sugar as a scrub on your skin. It's eatable. Yeah, people use it. I've, I've used brown sugar to drink Gary before. Okay, imagine using um, avocado on your um, dark eye circle. All right? You use the avocado butter or sometimes you mash it up. You mash up the avocado as well as banana and you put it on those part of your eyes. Honey, they are eatable. All right? Those are edible products are what you use on your body. Your skin also eats food. You don't know. So whatever you eat, whatever is edible is what you put on your skin. That is why when, when you use excess chemicals and chemicals that are not suitable for your skin, what happens? It damages the skin. So the skin is also like it's it's also it also eats things. So you, whatever you add on your skin is is also eating it. That's why they say when you eat food, it's you know it actually shows on your skin. That's the word. I don't know the grammar to use. <laughs> so when you eat good food, it shows on your skin. Like yes. Why do you think when you see rich men kids, you can easily identify them? They are very easy to identify rich men kids because their skin last one, you would know. So whatever you eat shows outside. All right? So yes, sunflower oil is used on the skin. It's a light oil and it's a moisturizing oil. It's really, really nice. It's, it's a nice oil. Ranges from zero to two, which makes it an excellent oil that can be used on the face as well as on the body. Okay. Let's continue. Um, we've got a question here from Jamila Kabiru. I'm loving this. I, I'm loving this, my mini whisker. Do you have it for sale? How can I get? Oh, no, it's finished, honey. It's finished. I, I Yeah, I used to have it. I sold the ones I had and some of the other ones I give it out for Christmas. But this Christmas, I'm not giving it out. Um, it's really nice, especially when you're trying to mix your oils, just oils, strictly oils. Yeah, it's really nice of using spoon to start doing like this on you just whisk the oil and also when you're trying to dissolve your your powders uh fabutin powder um snow white powder when you're trying to dissolve it but when it comes to dissolving sepia you guys know it goes under the heat so there's no, no need for that all right my lady mickey skincare product please there i can't see you on whatsapp anyways this is my number you can't see me on whatsapp maybe you didn't add the nigerian code that's plus two three four 818-541-7558 my lady hello mickey i want to pay for the training class i'm in cameroon please can i have your whatsapp number um plus two three four eight one eight five four one seven five five eight okay um okay antonia james gave me a thumbs up thumbs up honey um okay we've got a question from omolola olani great job dear please can you make review on what fade dark scars away I think I have when I first started YouTube go back to my old videos it's there but uh, I, I made it using an organic method all right the organic method works really well because you notice it just starts peeling it off yeah it's a bit harsh on it okay Omolola Olani thumbs up Miss Monica I love you like Kilo Day happy new month anyway it's funny when some people call me Monica and they don't call me Mickey on YouTube I like that it's nice okay Happy new month too, though it's um few days ahead. <laughs> All right, okay. Forever acceleration. It's a scam. That's her name. Forever acceleration. It's a scam. Wow. Do you sell organic materials? I do. Check it out on Mickey Skincare or NG, and you can still chat me up to other for products that are not on the website. I've not finished adding products. So. You no, know? lazing around. All right. Oluwaye miss you, Ojewi. Well done, Mickey. I sincerely like your teachings on YouTube. Please, I want to be part of your training or of the training you are talking about here. Please, how do I go about it? Thank you for your swift response. Um, you have to chat me up, all right? Or better still, you sign up on Vimeo, either using a Facebook account or your Gmail account. I suggest you open with a Gmail account. Some people say they open with their phone. When you're trying to open an important information, that is why you need receipts. Most times when you go and buy things, why do they give you receipts? To show for, you know, for future occurrence. That is why you need your you need to use your email to open. You don't use your phone to open things like that. If you're trying to sign up to a, 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 um, 
like a program or something that you know it's a video it's a, it's a const constant uh, thing you use your email so you, in case you forget your password there's no one that cannot forget you know man bag be gone so you go you go to your email and you revert to it again and if you cannot you can always say oh um, forgot password then it will get back to your email but when you use your phone oh, it's a mirror. all right so use your email to um sign up either using your i already said either using your gmail or your facebook account check on the top left corner of the vimeo account you see your username so it, the payment is mean it's meant to be made before i get to add you up if i don't add you up you won't see anything all right so um alima daniel can i use the oil on my face you mean sunflower oil? Yes, it can be used on the face for all skin. It doesn't really select a particular skin. It can be used on the face. Waifu Eseosa. Thanks, mommy. Yeah. Kisses to you too. Vera John, please, can I use it without boiling? Use what without boiling? Most times, you guys should be actually precise. Use what without boiling? Um, Obey the joy. Thanks. Can I add bar oil to my jeggings? Please reply. It depends on whatever you want to add to your jeggings. Most times, if you want to add product into your into your body lotion or your base you should know exactly what you want to add now you want to add bar oil do you know the percentage of bar oil to add into it exactly my thought okay skin flower Mickey you are very very funny but I like your videos I'm really learning from you thank you very much Sandra gift Onu or Sandra gift Onu is it Onu or Onu <laughs> thanks Mickey baby please do a review on extract soap I okay we've got a question here from Duchess Andy, wow, I'm speechless. Was forced to subscribe here. I don't normally sub because most time their talk is somehow, somehow. But this, I love you. Thank you very much. I love you too, honey. Ariella Anya, Anya TV. Okay, with the alum, the stone type, can you blend it to make the powder from? And the stone type that is sodium, that's what you mean. All right, that sodium alum, we have potassium alum, which is which falls under towers. That's towers falls under potassium alum. Sorry about that. And uh, it's actually meant to lighten dark on the arms, dark patches, brighten the skin a bit. While sodium um, alum is actually meant to tighten the pores of the skin. Now, in terms of this scrub, this bleach skin, this bleach skin scrub, you need sodium alum, all right, because it's meant to tighten. It's a bleach skin treatment. So, you know, when, once you've bleached your skin, I said it, when you keep using bleaching product, it thins the skin. That's when you start noticing green veins, you start noticing a uh, lightening and some part your skin is becoming thin and that's why i said you need to maintain your skin in order to bring back what it's lost the nutrients it's lost because naturally the surface of your skin is not meant to be that hard but it's meant to be protective in order to shield you from injuries okay so this sodium now this um, alum sorry it's sodium and it's the harsher one the one that tightens the pores that's what you need and this scrub is not meant to be used every day right twice or once in a week it's all right it's quite expensive you see the ingredient it's quite expensive and it smells really horrible but it is really really nice for people who have bleached their skin now you want to blend it into fine powder you can yes because you're using it to make that scrub but not in terms of whitening the skin it's not going to do the work okay um now another question from arela anya tv mix it correctly so it can it don't itch your skin okay she's talking to someone or um yes even if you still don't mix it correctly it will still not itch your skin all right the most important thing here is to get the ingredients the ingredients is just necessary and the cr the scrub is not meant to stay for too long mm -mm. it's not meant to stay for too long just it's an organic scrub so you shouldn't let it stay for too long because of the powders as well as um, the oil and the smell can't even make it stay for too long because and it also stains the bedroom so just a few a few days or weeks it's all right and um but it's a nice scrub it's a really really nice scrub that does a really good work for people who have bleached their skin right that they are you know those are our mummies of those days now their skin is looking ugh, i can't describe it but it's a nice nice scrub it just smells really horrible Ngosu Amarachi, Mickey Skincare Product. Please, could you make a review on listing out some good goat milk face soap? I think I listed one the last time. So try and check out my video. I did. 
Year 18 now. Please, can I mix clinic clear serum with pure gold max too? I don't know about that. You could try it out, you know. Um, year 18 now. Please, I just bought one on the clinic clear serum and I'm already fair. Um, oh God. Some of your English say fair. I'm full lady. Clinic clear serum and I'm already fair person, but I have no cause on my hand. Will it be good for my skin, please? I can't know if it will be good on your skin because I don't know your skin. I got skin. a question from Christy Gold. Love you too much, Miki. I love you too, honey. Um, Lona A with Hi Miki, can I use rose hip oil? Um, rose hip oil. Rose hip oil is a fast oil. So I won't say yes. No. Rather you could use um, still the same sunflower. Sunflower oil is medium, fast to medium, which is nice. Rose hip oil is fast, you know. Once you're using something for glowing, you don't need fast oil because fast oil will dry up quickly. All right? We say it's glowing. Something that is meant to glow you. Wow. You use it, you know, use oils medium to slow so that it stays longer on your body. All right? Rosy oil won't be able to withstand the longevity. All right? So, no. Okay, so we've got a question here from Osa Osayuen. Oh, eh, eh, eh. I hope I called it well. Okay, you are not showing how you are doing it. I did. I, I showed my hands. I showed my hands. I showed how I broke the um the highlighter. I had to pieces the highlighter and I showed it. I showed it. Try and look at it well. Mm, try, please. Okay, and um, we got a question from so for Mawena. Wow, our, our name is. I think I'll go with my Wema. You talk too much. <laughs> Thanks for the compliment. It's a compliment. But hope you know uh, on my YouTube channel, I make reviews, I advertise products, and um, I talk about skincare, um, more like regimen and stuff like that. So I am meant to talk because my job is advertising. All right, I'm meant to talk. All right, but it's all good if you feel that way. Mabinu. Okay, um, we've got a question here from Amara Oke Ogechuku. Baby, thank you so much. You have really inspired me since I started following you. Thumbs up, babe. You're welcome, honey. Um, Tawakat Idris. Kisses. Mwah. We've got a question here from um, Ozozoma Oz. Mickey, you can't stop cracking me up. My cream will not work fast, fast. I, I'm absolutely right. You're absolutely right about uh, stretch mark don't leave or go but that's your recipe for stretch mark helps mosha love you thank you very much yeah yes now F fast fast cream i don't like it all right you go and learn it from koto now most times they call stretch marks they cause nas nasty nasty things on the body really nasty things so is it not better to just wait the long run than to start doing quick quick and start having stretch marks and um, yes, yeah, stretch marks, I, as I said, it doesn't really go that easily. So slow and steady, slow and steady. You just see it fade off a bit, but not completely. But it's, if, if you had a black stretch mark caused by cream, with the recipe, you should, should lighten it to brighten it. So it would look a bit presentable compared to when it's dark in color. Okay, Lawa Kemi, show you Mickey. I am Mickey. Yes, I am Mickey. Blessing Ugwani. Oh my God, I hope I called that way. I'm sorry. <laughs> Mickey, I gave a comment on your last video. No reply. Maybe I didn't see the comment because if I did, I would have replied you. I would have. Um, I have hard skin. My skin and prone on pigmentation. I hardly have pimples and takes long to start showing results. Can you recommend me to any? I can't. This is not a, a channel for recommending products. I can actually mix products for you, but I cannot tell you what to use. And I can still teach you products, which you have to pay for. Okay, we've got a question from Teke Joseph. Please, Mickey, are you tell me a good cream oil I can use? No, I won't. This guy is from, I think, Cameroon. Some people use that uh, outside country as an excuse. It's not an excuse. Thank God we have a means of sending money. Because if I keep going around telling you what to use, that's just it and apart from that some people be like making money is not everything but hope you know i use money in acquiring this knowledge i have 
and I'm still trying to use money to acquire more knowledge. So imagine now. So if I now dish out that knowledge on a platter of gold, it's not fair. It's not fair at all. At least I use money in buying data. Though I know some of you also buy data to watch me on YouTube. That is why I try as much as possible to also give back by giving reviews, making sure you people don't go and damage your skin with products that are not meant to be used. So some of you will be like, I'm in Cameroon. I'm in France. I, ca I can't send money. There's no means of sending money. Me too. There is no means of sending the information now. At least. Let's do it that way. Both ways. All right. We got a question from uh, Jasmine. Hi, sis. Can I mix kojic acid, AHA, or lactic in H226? If yes, how? <laughs> it's funny. <laughs> that question is a funny question. You know why it's funny? You brought out a recipe on your own. First off, where did you get the recipe? Because I feel if you're bringing out a recipe, you should have knowledge of the recipe you're bringing out. Oh, you won't just wake up one day and say, you want to miss Afabutin, you want to miss, it's not possible. Someone would have told you about that recipe. Now, do me a favor and go back to the person you learned it from, that you should use kojic acid, AHA or lactic in H2+. Ask the person how to mix it. It's just simple. It's just pretty simple. Just ask the person how to mix it. But I'll just let you in on some things. Now, your kojic acid, in order to dissolve your kojic, I'm just letting you know how to go about it. In order to dissolve your kojic acid, if you don't actually want to put it during the double boiler method, make sure the water is like 25 degrees to 40 degrees in order to dissolve that kojic acid. Kojic acid, yes, will be dissolved with water. It can be dissolved with uh, rose water. For kojic depapitate, you use oil to dissolve kojic dip. Now, for lactic acid, which percentage of lactic acid? Don't use uh, the, the percentage that is safe for you to use. You can use 50% uh, is actually nice. It's safe. It's, this, it's a bit mild, not completely. But from 70-80, it's a bit harsh. Okay, now AHA. Slow down on the AHA because SSAHA causes sunburn. All right, so now I just give you a tip so you know what to do. All right. So we've got a question from Ifai Chima Joy. Hi, sweetheart. You're looking good. Thank you, honey. Nadine Stewart. Good evening. I want to join your classes. All right. You sign up on Vimeo either using your Facebook account or your Gmail account. After signing up, check on the top left corner of your Vimeo account. You'll see your username. Send me the username. And that's all. Okay. A question from Efe Zino. I love your skin. Please, do you do tutorials? And please, what is the cost? Well, we can't be discussing business on YouTube. <laughs> it's not appropriate. All right, you chat me up. 0818-541-7558. Ade Dayo Kikelomo. Happy new month, sis. Even though I'm just telling you this month, though it's ahead of some days. Happy new month, Kikelomo. All right, so we got a question from Star Untuli. Hi, Monica. Can I use extra virgin olive oil? Um... It's actually a nice oil, but if it's suitable for you, it doesn't work for all skin. But it's nice because it's medium to slow oil. So it's really, really nice when it comes to glowing the skin. But if it's suitable, if you've used it before and it's nice on you, it doesn't cause any irritation on you, then you can use it. All right. Got a question from Irene R. Sesame oil, you start smelling like Chinese food. <laughs> Oh, we had a question for doing solar rafiat. <laughs> Irene, doing solar rafiat. Beautiful you making. Hmm. You are looking so fine. Please, is it advisable to take whitening pill and does it have side effects? Depends on the whitening pills you want to take. Now, there are different whitening pills in the market. All right, but uh, according to research right now, it's saying that excess of it excess of it most time causes a uh, fibroid okay so but if you take it on on a low not all the time you know some people have turned it to their normal so most time this is what i do i take the supplement i take whitening supplement but i don't take it on a regular like today you know like i can take it for one week me i don't really like taking pills that's just my even medical pills i don't i'm not a tablet person I prefer injections if, um, pills. so if you're taking the pills or you're even taking glutathione sometimes you need to slow down you know even people that actually 
people that start using those glucosamine injection they slow down on it they do because once you start taking the glucosamine and um it has actually wise a friend of mine that will travel to before she travels to dubai she will you she will take it then she will get white then when she goes to dubai she's she's not taking it any longer all right she's no longer taking it so most times you need to give yourself break from those things you know the, as they say now the excess of th- everything is bad mm-hmm. so once you, you've turned it to a routine as every day every day every day every day every day, every day causes fibroid okay let's continue Teresa Michael, hi Mickey, happy new month. Sorry, my battery just signified low. All right, so I just came to an end <laughs> of my video. All right, happy new month too, Teresa Michael. Happy new month. I'm sorry, I'm so slow on the gift. I'm so sorry. Um, I'm trying to create a handbook as a gift. Yes, that's what I wanted to do. I wanted to, you know, bring it out, publish it before saying it. But from the look of things, it's slow. And the handbook i'm trying to make sure you guys don't you are not dependent on mickey asking me questions oh mickey how am i supposed to do this how am i supposed to? i want it to be self-explanatory that a layman will be able to understand the hard copy it's a hard copy not an ebook a hard copy so it will only co- consist of organic and um, synthetic mixture it's just only a hard copy okay so and i would i took my time because i'm almost done but not yet i'm still trying to put some things into order and I took my time to explain some features that you guys might not understand. Took my time to dish out the oils, the categories of oils and everything. And, um, you know, explain what synthetic is, how to mix your synthetic with powders. And, you know, your synthetic mixtures now, powders, your oils, how to you know, put it together and give you a fine and beautiful skin. At a token, but for people who are my diehard fans, I'm going to get it for free. But I'm not done yet. That's just the thing. I'm still trying to give it a finish touch or a finishing touch. Is that the grammar to use? I think so. So, um, and I don't want you guys to be dependent, as I said earlier. So you guys will be calling me. Hey, Mickey, hey, hey that, that number, this thing, hey, how, how, how am I supposed to do? Mm-mm-mm. Okay. Book will be self-explanatory. You'll be able to understand it word for word. So I'll see you guys hopefully this week. And I love you guys like key. Hello. <laughs> All right, bye guys. Mm-hmm.